Hey guys, it's Shantae Brown, Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorns. Let me get this Instagram started. Uh, Instagram. Okay, so there we go. Anyway, Shantae Brown, Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorns. I don't know what that is. It's in a carrot of browsing. So, anyway, today is all about dates. And so, I know people, like, take their kids out on dates, all this different stuff. And, like, it's summertime. It's about to be summer. So, it's, like, so good to travel and just, like, go out. So, um, oh, the alphabet dates. I got this from the lo localadventurer.com. So, afternoon tea, aquarium, and archery. Like, you guys can get a city pass. And I don't know if St. Louis has one or if Illinois has one. So, let's see. City pass. St. Louis. Yep, they got one. So, St. Louis has a city pass, too. Let's see. Right now, it's like save up to 50% off top tourist places. So, let's go down to see what it is. Where's Missouri at? Dallas, Seattle. So cold. I don't see St. Louis on here. Let's see, except. So, um, St. Louis doesn't have a city pass. Houston, Orlando, Seattle. Okay, I'm sorry, I lied. St. Louis does not have. Oh, okay, wait a minute. They have one, but it's not coming up. Um. I don't see it. Like, I don't see it on here at all. I see Dallas has one. So, Dallas has a city pass. And it's so cool. Like, um, so you get to choose from all these different places. So, I'm wondering why. I guess probably because some stuff was closed right now. Um, yep. Don't see it. St. Louis does not have a city pass. But anyway, like, they do have an aquarium now. They have, like, the art museum. Like, the architecture out here is awesome. Like, if you come down, just go to, like, downtown and walk around and take pictures. That's if you want to take a walk or whatever. Um, you just know that it's the arch. That's not St. Louis. I was looking at New York. Are you kidding me? That was, like, in front of the fucking Empire State Building. What is that thing in front of the uh, Statue of Liberty? But anyway, like, why do I get them mixed up? So anyway... Um, you can go to the arch. You can go down to the riverfront and hang out. Uh, because of the integrity that they keep with all the buildings. And because of, like, I mean, it's just, like, such a place for history. The food, everything, is, like, you really probably don't need it. And it's such a small area. Like, you can get everywhere. Kind of walking, but get on the buses. Like, the bus will get you there, too. And the bus right now is a dollar. And to ride the Metro Link, which is just trying, is two fifty. So if you have to go more than one place, get a day pass, which is like five bucks. You get on the train or the bus and be okay and get back. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like $5 to let you ride anywhere for the whole day. It's like better than Uber. And seriously, the, the transit system, because it's so small, it's like quick and fast and easy. Like the longest ride you'll have is like an hour and 58 minutes. And you won't, it won't even feel like an hour and 58 minutes because you got to transfer buses, get on train. You will see some people go talking somewhere to eat. So, um... We have Caldi's Coffee. Like, if you want afternoon tea, they close at, like, 3.30. We always have Starbucks here. Um, where else can you go? You can go to Panera Bread. Like, you can go to a Whole Food Market. They have coffee there, too. And you can walk around and get some good food. You know, because me and my son, we go to the grocery store and we go, when we take trips. We don't go out to eat the whole time. So, that's the whole thing. Like, we like to eat in the car with grapes and bananas and then we'll stop at starbucks or panera but that's it so uh alphabet dates bowling bookstore botanical garden you know go to a good bookstore sit down and just look and see what each other does like let the other person write notes and talk to you about it like i miss having somebody i can discuss my ideas with all this different stuff so all these things are like really important like you know and it, it really helps you get to know people botanical garden like take a camera and take some stupid ass pictures like see who could take the worst picture you know what i'm saying on purpose or the best picture on purpose bowling is always good because you get to whoop some butt see concert comedy show camping i mean i don't know i would like try to 
camp out in the backyard if I could, it's cheaper. And then that way, if I, I miss something, I can go in the house and get it. Comedy show. Uh, we used to have those out here all the time, like different places. Like we have a lot of places where you like for people to do shows, concerts, same thing. Out here, concerts are like really friendly, like really open. Like usually, if you with the right group of people, if they bring a cooler. Honey, I'm telling you, they brought enough to share. They brought British share. They brought weed to share. They done brought every fucking thing. They got brought an extra blanket. Like, people do not play. It's like, when I'm coming, I'm bringing this for me and you. I'm not just bringing this for me. I'm bringing this for me and you. And they'll sit there and share every fucking thing that they have. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I used to like when they had the grass seats. You just, they like, come on. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Like, these people are so nice. Like, they be so nice. Like, you make you want to put in on something, too. You'll get them. We used to give them braces off our arm and stuff. Like, you be, like, want to get them something, too, because it's so freaking nice. Like, come on, get. Man, you better get this burger up, man. We got her chilling, man. You want a burger? You know, it's, and it's like so freaking sweet. You never see them in your life. You don't exchange numbers or anything. It's just the fact that you out there enjoying a concert together like it is so awesome like grass seats were like the best invention ever i'm sorry whoever came up with those ten dollar lawn seats or whatever that was like it for me like it's like even if i had the money i want lawn seats because these people are so fucking dope like you know like it's like we pull we broke but we can't see it so after i start working as a, a um what is this thing as a y'all yesterday i made something about me and i shouldn't i had to pray but anyway, yes, um, what is it? Lawn seat. So once I stopped working for the security company, I started like buying my own tickets. Like it was just like something I like to do. Like I love to go see concerts. I don't care if I had somebody go with me or not, I go day trip, dinner theater, drive in. Um, it's like even though this is St. Louis and like the place I'm telling you to go to, it was like grafting. Grafty, Illinois, it's like a, day, a good day trip, especially like if you got a rental car, because like you can take the chop, like the uh, boat across the river, and it's like farms on the other side of the river too. So like either the Illinois or the Missouri side, it's like still farms on each side. So you can, if you got a car, it's like a nice drive in the country or whatever. So it's like a beautiful day. And I'm talking about y'all can do this stuff with your kids too, dinner theater or driving. We still got those here. E eco tour, escape room, or estate sales. If your kid is like my kid, like it is so fun taking Blake to take to places and teaching him about the history and nostalgia of a lot of stuff. So it's like an Anastasia, Blake will be fine. He'll be in there on the phone trying to find a seat sometimes, but he'll like want to learn what's going on too. So I teach him about like all the past like art stuff. I teach him, I mean, I really do teach him like stuff and he like really kind of remember what's going on. So it's like so fun to teach him. So and the steak sale would be like perfect for us because if they got like older stuff in there, I could always teach him what it is, what it do, what happens with it, and stuff like that. Uh, farmers markets that's good too because y'all get to taste the fruit festivals, food tours. I'm just like me and Blake will eat anything, like we'll try it and then that's it. Like it's like, do we like this? Do we come back for it or not? Um, Blake like fishy kind of stuff, like he like Asian foods and stuff, so it's like he can always deal with that. Me, I'm just like, no. No, baby, no. It's like if I can taste the scales, I do not want it. And sometimes I can taste the scales. I taste the scales. It's like, uh uh-uh. uh. Uh, game night golfing and glamping. Um, like I said, I probably would have set that up in my backyard. I have no reason to go out into the wilderness right now. Hot air balloon, hiking, horseback riding. You know, you can find that stuff on Groupon. And it's in Texas. I know it's not far in Texas. It's like two, three hour drives in Texas. But I haven't done any Groupon in the St. Louis area. Ice ball, ice skate, improv. That's so cool. Like, if y'all get up and act crazy together. Jazz, jet ski, jet ski, jigsaw puzzles. Out of that, we'll probably do jazz and Blake on the lead because the horns are too high. Karaoke, kayak, kite flying. Um... We'll probably do the kayaking. Kayaking is so fun, especially in Austin. So now I'm telling y'all I'm going to do this for this area, and I don't know much about this area for real. But kayaking, Austin, Texas, ah ha ha ha. And you can see down into the water, like the tree, like it looks like the trees are growing up from the, out of the water. Like the trees are underneath the water. So I don't know, it's kind of scary, but at the same time, it's cool. Laser tag, library, live music. We pick laser tag in the library. 
and live music. We'll pick all three of them. <laughs> movie, massage, museum. We going to all of them. Movie, the massage, and the museum. So, National Park, Netflix, nightclub. We going to all three of them. Because Blake like bars. Petty cab, picnic, put put. All of it. <laughs> we did all this stuff. Quadruple day quickie quilt. No, we don't do that. But yeah, quadruple day. Mm, I guess so. Quickie. Mm hmm. For me, yes. Quilt. Okay, we can quilt. Rock climb. I didn't know that by myself. Roller, Blake, sit on the phone. Rock climb, roller skate, random act of kindness. We did all that. Scrapbook, stargaze, staycation. I scrapbook, Blake will stargaze with me, and we'll have a staycation. Tandem bikes, test drive trivia. So cool. We can do, we like to do that too. Test drive cars. You pick form, unplug, unscale, upscale. We do that too. Pick a form. Sometimes we don't have our phones because they go dead and we like upscale. Venue, vacation, volunteer. That's it. I mean, that's something that we haven't done. That's why I'm like, we should probably live on the form. Walking tour, well, watching winery. We did that too. Only thing we didn't do a winery will be a juicery. We would do the crayon place. And Blake would be like, I don't want to be here, woman. You are the only person on earth that like Crayola. I'm just like, no, I want to be here at Crayola. <laughs> Xbox, Explore, Extreme Sports. All of them. YouTube, Yoga, Yard Sale. All of it. Zoo, Zipline, Z's. All of it. So that's alphabet dating idea. So it's like, that's it. Like, you just create a time to go do something with it people that you love or you can go by yourself you know um it's okay to take a bike ride by yourself just don't go too crazy you know what i'm saying stay safe um this is talking about at home ideas like drinks on the back porch dinner lego building set that's what me and blake do too crab legs and champagne from costco they say card games to set the prize in advance mexican dominoes margaritas coffee and mystery podcast tabletop escape rooms escape room games so it's just different stuff you could do to just like go on a date by yourself go on a date with your family or go on a date with somebody else you know um and it, it it just make life fun but if you ever get a chance to get to a city with a city pass there's only like a few cities that have them and dallas is one and so yeah just make sure you if you get there just try it out they have so much stuff um, so yeah, right now they fifty percent, forty nine percent at the top of um Dallas attractions. And it's forty nine dollars for adults and thirty three for kids for the one that's in Dallas. And out of everything you can visit, um, so it says visit each attraction you can you can visit four attractions. So for Dallas it's the Paroma Museum or Nature of uh Nature and Science. It is gorgeous in there. Reunion top Tower Geo Dick and I think that's the one that like the restaurant that goes in the circle. It's so cool. Uh, you can go to the Dallas Zoo, the George W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum, or the Dallas Holocaust and Human Rights uh Museum. So I ended up going to the Holocaust Museum by myself. Blake was like, Fuck this, I ain't going in that shit. Uh, we didn't go to the George Bush Presidential Library, which I probably would have liked it. And we did go to the Dallas Zoo. So yeah. And the Dallas Zoo is, like, kind of small, so I don't know. I, I think it's worth the first two attractions because of the um, because of the revolving restaurant. So, yeah. That's it, y'all. That's it. It's like a Saturday. I just really want to go and get the fuck away. I really wanted to stay in the bed, and I couldn't. That's why I'm like, I put on every fucking thing in the fucking closet. It's not a joke. I got on white socks the freaking back shoes man my legs hurt i didn't try to take a, a peppermint bath everything my in, my allergies are open like it's like my nose is running which is good it's not like stopped up and i don't feel like sick or have a headache but that's it that is it i woke up this morning somebody was talking about everything i did yesterday in the restaurant so of course i got anxiety today like that's it i got anxiety so, I don't know. I'm just tired. I'm tired of having anxiety. I'm tired of shitting before I leave the fucking house. All types of shit. I'm just tired, y'all. So, yeah. That's all they talk about. Well, 
she was just doing this and doing that. And it's like, that's not something I want to hear. I don't want to hear a commentary about something I did yesterday. I'm tired of that shit. And these stupid ass people, man. So anyway, Shantae Brown should have talking to black unicorns. Telling you to fuck off if you a stalker. You see what I'm saying? Go date your fucking self and leave me the fuck alone. There's so much shit to do. There's so much shit to do. There's so much better shit to do than to watch and steal from me. Get the fuck on.